Yo! Clever like here with another Minecraft add-on video. This time we're going to be working a little more with loot tables. In our last video about loot tables, I created some genetically modified cows. These were pretty impressive cows. So in that video, we created cows that were very generous with their loot properties because we would get, uh, I got 31 raw beef and 25 leather from that cow. So we customized the loot table for the cows to be very generous and that was pretty simple. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. That's going to show you how to get started with creating the behavior pack. Now since we already have the behavior pack in place, this video is going to pick up from where that left off and we're going to do some more advanced thing. I'm thinking we need to create some generous chickens. I'm thinking chickens that give, I don't know, diamond armor might be a good idea. So let's go in and check that out. All right, so I'm going to pause the game here. I'm going to go back to our code. Now remember, I have the entire code folder for the behavior pack loaded up in my editor here. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is a free download from Microsoft. Uh, you could use your own code editor of choice as you wish. What I am going to do here is I'm going to look at the entities and we have the chicken here. Nice, so the chicken will give a feather. So it will give uh, have one try at giving a feather which will give a count of 0 to 2. So you may or may not get a feather. You may even get two feathers. And then the chicken, uh, the raw chicken, you have one chance to get a chicken. It looks like there is no count. You will get a chicken for sure. And if the chicken is on fire when you kill it, it's actually going to smelt the chicken and cook it, which is kind of wild. What we're going to do, though, is make these chickens a little more generous. And so I'm going to go into the, the chests folder of the loot tables area. And uh, let's click on the igloo chest and take a look at that. So we have a, uh, first of all, the rolls are randomized. So in the last one with the cows, you only had one roll in both areas. So you couldn't change the uh, number of rolls or kind of vary the number of rolls. Here you can. So it'll take between two to eight rolls in this case. So let's change that to five to eight rolls. Okay, so that means how many times it's going to go through all of the entries and find out which one and then randomly pick which one. Now remember, it's not completely random, it is weighted, right? So we have weights for each of the different items that could be selected in that one roll. So it's going to pick one of these entries. So you can see here, stone axe, rotten flesh. These are, these are no fun. Wheat. Blech. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these guys out and we're going to replace them with something better. So first of all, what I'm going to do is let's go over to here and just say diamond boots. Okay, so I'm going to leave that at diamond boots and I'm going to copy that section there. So these are different entries, part of the entries list. So if I click on this bracket, you see how it puts a little gray box around it? Now if I go down to the bottom here, I have a gray box around this bracket. So this is the closing bracket for that opening bracket. So I'm going to get rid of all of these guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here because this one has kind of a random count for the number of items. So maybe we'll give ourselves um, something special there. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now this is kind of mad at us, this underline here, because we have a we have a comma. But we're going to be pasting more stuff in here. So I'm going to paste what I have in the clipboard. All right, line up my brackets a little better. And let's do this a couple more times. So we've got boots, helmet, leggings, and uh, chest plate. So we'll change this to diamond leggings. So helmet and uh, then chest plate. So that's full diamond armor here. Okay, but it's not going to pick every single one, right? It's going to randomly choose one or the other. 
And so in this case, what I'm going to do is uh, have it pick one of those and we could change which one it's, it's weighted towards. Right now they're all evenly weighted. Uh, one of the things that I'm just looking at here is that this has another roll. So we have one roll between five to eight, so it's going to go through and give you between five to eight items. And then we have uh, another roll, which will roll once and give you one. So you're guaranteed to get a golden apple in this case. Why don't we, why don't we actually copy this guy out of there? And I'm going to cut him out, actually. And we'll put him in here for this entry. Paste. I'm going to get rid of this comma, right? So we all of our errors are clean. So you have, really have to keep track of all these curly brackets and everything because uh, if you don't, if you have a mismatch on the opening and the closing brackets or braces or parentheses or commas or quotes, then it's not going to work, and then you're just going to get the default behavior. So if if you make a change and you're not getting, you know, if we don't get anything diamond from a chicken then we screwed something up and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix it so apples let's just say we're gonna get between 5 to 15 apples when we kill a chicken okay and so what else do we have here we have our entries so we're going to either pick diamond boots diamond leggings diamond helmet or diamond chest plate sounds cool so let's go ahead and give that a try what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all, select all of it, copy it, and then we're going to open up the chicken code and we're going to replace the chicken code with our new loot table that we customized from the from the igloo chest. And let's close the igloo chest without saving it. Do you want to save? No, don't save. But we will save the changes to the chicken table. Looks like I have a little error here. So uh, we have a comma hanging out over there. We didn't. You don't want to put a comma after your last entry. It's expecting another entry. We didn't have one, so that's why it was going to give an error. So it looks like I fixed that, and we're going to get uh, five to eight tries at one of these four things, and they're all equally weighted. So let's go ahead and save that, and. We're going to go back to Minecraft. We're going to quit this current world. Now that's the other thing too. When you're working on behavior packs, when you make a change to a behavior pack, it's not going to affect ones that have already been loaded into worlds because that behavior pack was copied into the world folder at that current point. So now that we make changes to the main behavior pack, we either would have to copy those into the world or if it's easy enough, just create a new world. So I'm going to say loot to I'm going to go to creative mode just to make things easy. Turn sheets on. Make sure loot, crazy loot is loaded. And then start the new world. So we could look for chickens and cows now. Oh, there's some chickens. And it, oh, I thought that was a cow. That would have been awesome. All right, Mr. Chicken. I'm going to give myself um, an iron sword. Because these are diamond chickens, so I didn't want to give myself a diamond one. That's that's cheating. Let's see what happens here. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man! Wow! What was he eating? <whistles> Look at that. Oh, dude. Did we score? We got the full deal, right? We got the full deal. Check me out. One chicken is all it takes. And I've got some apples. I am good to go. Oh, delicious and nutritious. All right. Where's a cow? Uh oh. Oh, cute little baby cow. Hi. Yeah, I won't kill you. Okay. There's a cow. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, and look at that loot. Oh boy. Let's check it out. Thirty-one raw beef, thirty-seven leather. We are in the shoe business, baby. We're gonna make some make some leather shoes. We are golden so there you go we copied the the chest loot properties moved them over to an entity and now we've got chickens that dispense 
huge amounts of diamond armor. We could customize that further, add all kinds of things to that. So go ahead, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. I've got a whole bunch of videos in the pipeline. And down in the comments below, if you'd like to learn something or you're testing something out and having trouble, go ahead and post a question. I'll see if I can help you out or create a new video for you. I'm also going to place links for information about loot tables and some of the utilities that I use in the description below. So make sure you check the description for some more info and some links, and we'll see you in the next video.